What's cracking, y'all? I'm Matt Pinzella, and this is Aaron Kider. Today, we are going to talk to you about appointments in BMT. <laughs> Alright guys, so appointments in basic military training. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're about to ship out to basic training or that you got a, I mean, a MEP state or in contact with the recruiter. But I'm going to go more in depth and make a video about actually the enlistment process and everything in the future. So let's dive into this appointment video. So in basic military training, they're going to give you a piece of paper known as a 341. These things are your livelihood. Everything you do or don't do will revolve around these little pieces of paper. It's going to have a room for your name, what your rank is, who you're assigned to, what your dorm is. Now this little piece of paper is what's going to help you get places, do things. They're going to be your repercussions. They're going to be your positive. They're going to give you some verification to say, hey, this guy is actually going on an appointment. So you're going to get that and you're not gonna be able to go anywhere in basic training by yourself. So you're gonna to have to ask one of the other people that you're bunking with, that you're living with, whatever the case is, say, hey, will you go with me? And most of the time they're gonna say yes because this gets them out of what the flight's doing for the day or however long it takes you because you have to walk everywhere. So the most common appointment in basic training, what do you think the most common appointment would be? Read. Usually read. My flight was different because we had a lot of married people, so there was a lot of people going to finance like every other day just to get their pay set up so they would have money to send to their wives. But a lot of people are injured. Understand you're in Texas for either the heat or the cold. It'll either be really cold and people will forget to drink water and get hurt, or it'll be extremely hot. People won't drink water and get hurt. A lot of people go for dehydration. A lot of people have allergies. People are living with other people they're not used to. They get sick. It's going to happen. Constipation. Go. Yeah. A lot of people are going to go to read for medical issues, and that's going to be a lot of your flight. We had, in my flight, four people during one weekend on crutches at a time because of things happen. You're going to have to have a wingman 24-7 with you in basic training. You're not going to go anywhere by yourself. So do not, do not ever, 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 ever get caught by yourself. Unless you're using the latrine in your dormitory, then you can go to the latrine by yeah, yourself. If, if you're in your dormitory, you can walk around by yourself amongst your dormitory. But if the flight leaves, do not be in that dorm by yourself. It doesn't matter what happened. You could be on, the whole flight could be lined up to leave to go out to do whatever they is they have to do. And if you're in the bathroom, keep someone with you. Because if they all go out and you follow in maybe 10 minutes behind them because you were doing whatever it is you had to do, you're going to be in a thousand times more trouble just for being by yourself than it would if there were two of you messing up. Because then at least it's all, at least you had a wingman with you. But if you're not by yourself, it's going to be hell for you. All right, guys, so that's pretty much how appointments work in basic training. You just have to get that authorization and take a wingman with you wherever you need to go. You just walk there during the day. Your flight is going to be doing the regular duty day. So let's say you miss out on something important, like you miss out on a class then you're gonna have to make another appointment to go to that class that you missed out on later during the week or whenever you have time. And basically, I try to take as few, uh, I took as few appointments as possible because I, if you miss out on something, then you gotta go redo it and it's just a big, big hassle, so. Yeah, because everything, once you get towards the middle and end of basic training, there's gonna be something every day for you to do. So if you miss one of those things, that thing usually can only be done at that time or that day, you only have so many weeks. And what if the following week you have something that conflicts with that? Well, then you're gonna miss another thing. So it, it'll pile up on you a lot, don't miss anything, don't abuse the appointment system, Go when you need to go, and if you need to make an appointment, just talk to your training instructor. Their job is to handle that stuff. So if you say, hey, sir, I broke my ankle. I need to go to read. They're going to be, all right, you're on crutches. You're going to go to read. But you can't just be like, oh, my tummy hurts. I need to go to read. It's, it's going to be bad for you. It'll be really, really bad for you. All right, guys. So if you have any more questions, just leave it down in the comment, uh, the comment section below. Also, subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and tell me what I need to work on. I love constructive criticism. So you guys take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. Add me on Snapchat, contact me. I mainly talk back to everybody that messages me, so don't be afraid to message me. Uh, this has been the video by Alpenzeller and myself, actually. This is, this, this is a video by Airman Kyder and I. And you guys take it easy. Also, we should redo the intro, because when I say what's cracked, it's